Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Moon Black 2 Nuzlocke. This is part 4 in this episode. We're here at the first gym and I will admit, last episode I did get a little bit confused on what the first gym was. My mind flipped back to Pokemon Black. This is Pokemon Black 2. We are not fighting the free rotational leaders that have like the fire type, war type, and grass type theme. Instead, we're fighting the normal type leader, Charon, and I completely forgot that last episode. But, don't worry, I still trained up the team and everything, I haven't relied on us getting a pan paw or anything weird like that. Instead, our team is as follows. We have a Shinx at level 14, which most importantly, should hit level 15 off of the trainers in this gym, I'm pretty sure. So we should be going into the final fight with a level 15 Luxio, which should be real nice. Plus, we also have Spark. I think between Spark and Luxio, this is going to be like our ace for the fight. And we have like our... I'm assuming there's going to be an ace on ace fight. There's going to be two level 15s. I was told in the comments that level 15 is roughly where I want to be at. I think, to be honest, the two level 13s will fight probably two level 12s. And then a level 15 will fight level 15. And then we have a Lycan Rock here, who's just a Lycan Rock, to be honest. Do we really need to know more? Like, it's just a Lycan Rock. It has some fat stats, we should be absolutely fine. We now have Howl rather than Leer, so we can uh, set up if we so desire, meaning we should be absolutely fine. Other than that, no real changes to the team. Basically just Howl and Spark, but I think we should be fine. We also have Orange Berries, which if we need to use, we will. But at the moment, we're gonna be fighting the first one, two trainers. I don't remember how many trainers there are. I don't remember Pokemon Black 2 at all, okay, if you can't tell. <laughs> but we should be fine. Normal type Pokemon will be fighting type Pokemon. Don't have any of those. But I did learn that in Rock Ruff Ranch, we could have caught a Riolu or an Eevee. And on the route just before Rock Ruff Ranch, we could have caught Bagon, which is wild. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the Pokemon I have, but damn would they have been powerful. The only Pokemon around here are like the Riolu and Flossessi Ranch. Yeah, it'll simply be a test of strength. I don't know if I like that, but yep, that's the plan. Test of strength. So check. That's not Cheren Sprite. Okay. Yeah, I was wrong twice. You know, let's just keep the tracker going. We'll see how many times I can be wrong. Don't don't actually count that. It'll be a lot. <laughs> Hello, I'm Clyde, the guy who trains to challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Thank you for the fresh water. I might actually need that. We'll see. Uh, hopefully we don't, but we'll see. Pokemon gyms have facilities for testing trainers' abilities. Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, you get a really good badge, and it lets you do stuff and progress through the game, and try not to let your Pokemon die, because these people, these gym leaders are ruthless, and they're gonna be the toughest people that you fight, and they're gonna kill your Pokemon. That's exactly what he said, I did not change any of the words that he just said. So... Maybe it is Charon, but the sprite is different? Maybe I don't remember the sprite properly, either way. You must be a challenger. That's the player sprite, though. Welcome to Espadio City Pokemon Gym. I'm Nate, the gym leader. Interesting. So not Charon. Maybe Charon's been moved to later in the game? Hmm. Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need you to prepare for welcoming you to the gym. Aha. Uh -huh. We have a challenger. You two, take your places. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Okay, so yeah, two trainers, we should easily get ourselves a Luxio. I imagine we'll get a Luxio with just one trainer, but we're gonna lead with Shinx, we're gonna get it evolved, and we should be A-OK. -okay. Should be. Should be A-OK, -okay. unless there's some crazy Pokemon, but normal type gym, what could we fight that would be really scary? I'm My mind is still stuck in Gen 5, and I'm thinking of things like Herdia. But we're probably looking at something stronger than Herdia, aren't we? I don't know, normal types are so vast, it's kind of hard to tell what we might be fighting. At the end of the day, it could pretty much be anything. I mean, it's not as vast as war types, so I guess there's that, but we could really be fighting pretty much anything. I just hope that it's physical. If we're fighting something physical, remember, we have the double intimidate feline squad, okay? So we will be fine. But if it's a special attacker, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that could be scary. Uh, we're gonna stay in. Hopefully this level is enough XP for us to hit level 15 and evolve, because that would be amazing. I would like to evolve. And then I can slap an orange berry on us, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. We get paralysis. I want that to happen in the gym battle, not now. I don't want to use up all my luck. I don't want to see any crits right now from my side of the field. I'd like to be crit, if anything. Just, just so I feel like my luck is being used up, you know? and I'm gonna have a good fight when I need it. 
that's not how it works at all, but it's how my mind makes it work. Um, we didn't hit level 15, unfortunately, but we should be fine in the next fight, because there's another trainer. So we'll just lead with Shanks again, do the exact same thing, maybe even just lead and swap out immediately so we can get some XP on other Pokemon. Maybe swap into Rockruff and let Rockruff just sort of tear through the rest of it. See if Rockruff can hit level 15? I doubt it will, though. Because Rockruff takes a lot of XP to level up. But we should be fine. We should be fine. Side note, I am incredibly tired today, so expect me to make one big mistake in this fight that's gonna cost me the entire fight and cost me a Pokemon, because my sleep was interrupted this morning. Not by anything you might expect. Sure, there was the usual annoying neighbors with their annoying things of like trimming hedges and hedge trimmers and all that all that crap. But the thing that really confused me today is someone. Someone decided it was a great morning to start flying their drone around, and their drone crashed into my house. I had to deal with going into an attic to look around for someone's drone that they were flying around. I don't live in a particularly pretty place. I don't understand why they're flying a drone around. We're in, we're in the middle of nowhere. Everything looks like crap. I don't understand. But that was an interesting experience, and that tired me out a lot way earlier in the day than I expected. So, let's hope. <laughs> let's hope. Uh, by the way, they never got their drone back. We genuinely couldn't find it. We spent so long looking for that drone. Uh, they, they might never get their drone back. It's on our roof somewhere, and we don't know. But, one, we have a Luxio. And two, I hope that my tiredness does not make me make any bad decisions in this gym battle. <laughs> That's all I hope. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm making excuses and you can't stop me, alright? This is my channel and I'm gonna make excuses when I want to. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be fine. Alright, we have ourselves two of old Pokemon because we have a Lycanroc and a Luxio. I kinda wanna see how their stats compare. Okay, you're pretty good. But can you beat Charon? That's not Charon, ma'am. That ain't... You, you got the wrong person. We have Nate now, okay? Charon's... Charon's off doing something. We don't know about Charon. He's he's off on his own land. I want to give an Orenberry to... We're missing 4 HP. I don't care about 4 HP. Watch that be the mistake of my life. But I'm going to just give Orenberries to these two. I'm not even going to give Orenberries to the other two. I want to keep some Orenberries because they can genuinely be really useful again in the second gym as well. And I think, to be honest, Luxio and Lycanroc are probably going to carry me through this. Could be wrong, but I feel like between the two of them, we should be fine. So, Luxio stats, 33 attack, 27 speed, 19 defense. Lycanroc is just so good. Look at those stats in comparison. I'm sure Luxio has, you know, the same HP, but just the bulk, the sheer bulk of this Lycanroc. I think we're going to leave with Lycanroc. If I can lead with Lightning Rock and get, like, two Howls up, we might just be able to sweep. It might be anticlimactic, but it's safe. And at the end of the day, are we here to play smart? Or to play... for... for... <laughs> nerves, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know another way of saying it. Are we here to, like, try and put everything on the line and lead with our weakest? Or are we just gonna try and sweep like the smart people? We're smart people. We're gonna try and sweep, okay? Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is also my first Pokemon battle as gym leader. Congrats. Let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. No, I don't want you to feel proud. I want you to feel ashamed of your Pokemon. I want you to feel so weak and terrified of every trainer that comes after me because I am the strongest trainer you'll ever see. That's what I want. That's a Cypher. That's not a normal type. Why do you have a Cypher? Cypher's stats are genuinely comparable to Lightning Rock. I feel like I led correct. Do I want to howl? Or... I wish I had Rock Throw right now. Can you imagine if we had Rock Throw right now? We'd destroy this thing. Um... I'm just gonna howl. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. We still have an Orange Berry. I don't think a Bug Bite. I'm thinking the worst. I'm thinking Bug Bite. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all.
I don't like that. Bug is neutral against me. I do have good defense, because I'm evolved. I do have good defense. I did outspeed as well, so I think I'm gonna bite. We could always flinch. That's not a lot of damage. False swipe. False swipe? To have chosen that move, I see you're a powerful opponent. Aha! Uh -huh. False swipe. Do I want to howl again? False swipe doesn't scare me. He does have a good chance of praying. I'm thinking this through carefully, okay? Because to be honest, I do think that Lightning Rock could sweep if I get like three howls up. I really do. It'd be so much damage. Well, we outspeed, right? I'm gonna howl. I've seen False Swipe. I'm not scared of False Swipe. I'm scared of Bug Bite, don't get me wrong. False Swipe. Okay. I'm gonna bite now because I'm a little afraid that a crit might pop me if I'm not careful. False Swipe. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm just gonna bite and let the Cypher go away. Oh. Oh. Okay, that doesn't change anything. Use your potions now. That's great for me, actually. Think of potion again? Probably not. You probably won't potion again. I'm just gonna bite. He's not potioning again. Quick attack! We still live that just fine, and that's my Oran Belly Croc, so that's okay. Alright. That quick attack ends up not doing much. That's the first Pokemon down, and it, it's, it's a weird start. One, I wasn't expecting a Cypher. Two, why did it only go for False Swipe? Oh? Rock, that would have been so handy. That would have been so handy just a second ago. I looked up Lycanroc's moveset. Lycanroc learns Rock Throw at level 12. So I thought its moveset had been changed, or it didn't work the same because I'd evolved it and it was going to be much later. But... What do I get rid of for this? I want it because it's stabbed, don't get me wrong. If I was scared of Tackle, would I lose out on any type coverage? Super effectively, no, but I wouldn't be able to hit any fighting types. And I don't know what's coming out next. I saw a Cypher first in a normal type gym. I feel like it's safest if I just get rid of Sand Attack. I'm gonna get rid of Sand Attack. That's the smart play. That way we have Tackle for fighting types. Honestly, if there is a fighting type for now, I probably want to just swap, but... We don't always have that luxury. Growlithe comes out next. Again? That's not a normal type, friend. That- I mean, I have Rock Throw now. I'm happy. I'm happy. I can Rock Throw that and that'll disappear. Do I want to Howl? No, I probably just want to Rock Throw. I have a chance of just one-shotting this thing. I should one-shot this thing. Plus two Howls, like and Rock, rock Throw. Goodbye, bro. It was nice knowing you. That was brilliant, actually. And your last Pokémon is Type Null. I mean, I'm obviously staying in because I'm a Like and Rock plus two. Oh no, the music changed, I'm scared. Level 15, Type Null. Type Null's pretty tanky. I mean, I'm just gonna go for Rock Throw. How much does it do? It's not bad. It's not bad. Swagger. Oh no. No, 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 no. There are two possible outcomes. Three, technically, but the two outcomes are. We attack, we break through confusion, we one-shot this type null, we walk away happy with victory. Two, we attack, we don't break through confusion. We're at plus four, we hit ourselves for like 30 HP and this type null goes for any move it wants to and we get bopped. Option three, we swap out and we intimidate it with like Luxio or something, it's still holding an orange berry, and it's pretty clear which one of these I'm gonna go with, right? I, there's no way I risk that. Pursue! Okay, I didn't do too much, I didn't do too much. If that had a crit though, ooh. Ooh, okay, it has Pursue, we don't really want to swap out again. 
still, I'm gonna spark because I'm assuming it's only- Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the swagger. I don't like the fact that it outspeeds me. Please break through. Please. I don't like games of luck. I really don't. Oh, here we go. Oh, it begins. Oh, it all begins. Guys, be prepared. It's begun. It's all begun. I'm going to a potion? It's not even going to heal me to full. And he has pursue. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. What moves do you have to attack with? Do you have, like, Crush Core or something stupidly strong? Pursue. Stop going for Pursue, it scares me. That's not a lot of damage. What did that do, eight? That did eight damage, and when we hit ourselves, we did 23. We have 13 HP. We should be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine to go for a spot. Don't swagger me again. Oh, if he swaggered me again. I'm gonna spark. He wouldn't swagger me again. That'd be stupid. Okay. That would be stupid, but it would probably work. The suit doesn't crit. We can live this even if we hit ourselves, but I really don't want to, obviously. Spark. Good. Okay. Okay. How much does it do? We're at plus two. Mm. Mm. Okay. Soul's health using an orange berry. It does stop using a potion. I am gonna potion again. So I'm gonna be back at full HP, and at this point, if he was to suit and I was to hit myself, I would KO myself, and that would suck. You shouldn't swagger, there's just no- there's no reason to swagger. There is no reason whatsoever to swagger. Alright. Spark. Luxio, please. You're my favorite Pokemon. Just- just don't- just don't smack yourself in the face. That's all I ask. Snap that out of confusion, there we go, that should be it. That should be it, right? That should be it. That should be it. I'll say it one more time, that should be it. Okay. Oh, I don't like the fact that that came down to a chance roll. I don't like chance rolls in those locks. I really don't. Oh. We did it. We did it. Did Lycanroc kind of carry? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, to be honest, we chose a good two Pokemon to have, to be honest. You know. I say chose. We evolved the correct two Pokemon. We could have, like, leveled up Litten and Fletchling, but I feel like that would have been very, very different if we had. The Scyther would have gone down just fine, but yeah, okay, that's fine. That battle has made me really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. Thank you. I give you this in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. <sighs> give me my badge. Give me. So normally, in Pokemon Black, you would now go to Necreen City and go fight a normal type gym leader, but I think we actually go to a different city and get a poison badge in Black 2? I'm having to remember like 10 years ago, and this isn't going well. I'm not remembering things well at all. And we also get TM83 Worker. Ah, uh, I suppose that's not the worst. If Luxio could learn it, that could be good, because that way we could use attack and special attack. It could be okay. In the Unova region, there are eight Pokemon gems and eight badges. We have one of them. We're getting that. Years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. Congrats. I don't care. I'm just happy you didn't murder any of my Pokemon, to be truly honest. But now, we can run away and never go back here again. That sounds like a lovely, lovely time. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, hey Bianca. How was it? How did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? It went pretty well, actually. Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. You're now completely basic. Congrats. Thanks, Bianca. Wow, amazing. And you just set off on your journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is from me. It's the TM for the move Return. Ooh. That's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. He said Light Rock. And a Pokemon knows return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. Still, that name. See, you called him Nate, but the girl in there called him Charon. Bianca. It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow. W what's up? Thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the x transceiver. That's a thing. That's a thing. That's an annoying thing. <laughs> it's the Poke Gear, I hate it. <laughs> then communicate with me from your x transceiver. No, me too. Woo, we did it. I registered Professor Cookie for you too. And it's immediately ringing. Hey, I I hate phones. I hate phones with passion. I hate 
Hey, horrible things. Hi there, Carlos. I'm Professor Kukui. That, no, wait, hot. Hold on. Professor Kukui. I know you're like really talented at deceiving people with your appearance being, you know, the masked royal and all, and Professor Kukui, which no one has ever figured out before. I'm the only one that's figured that out, I know. Bam, revealed. You're amazed, calm down, I know, it's the truth. Um, but I don't think that's him. I... <sighs> Something about it. So, you know, I just don't think Professor Kukui would wear earrings. I think that's what it is. I think that's gotta be what it is. I can't see any other thing, but you just definitely wouldn't wear earrings. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we will know more about the Pokemon and we'll be able to get along with them even better. Hi, Professor Kukui. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it's Juniper, I know it, it's just, ah! <laughs> it's really interesting over here. There are so many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. That's true, actually, because there's, you know, Alolan Pokemon and everything. And I found out the Cyndaquil that we found last episode is a Unovan form. That's right, some of the Pokemon in this game have Unovan forms. So, I called it a Delta, and I'm still probably going to call them a Delta because I'm an idiot, but Unovan form Pokemon are in this game. Thank you for going so far on this errand, Bianca. And Nate, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Kugli, it's a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. Gym leader position is very tough. He just got annihilated. <laughs> if I had my usual partners. Oh, Nate. Having battles that come down to the wire. I don't know about relying on swagger for coming down to the wire, but sure. We'll make you a gym leader who deepens the bonds between your challenges and their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Nate's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokemon professor. And Carlos is a new trainer. Wow, I don't have a fancy title. I see how it is. But we always have Pokemon by our sides. That's right, Bianca. A world's a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, Carlos. Wow, okay. We can call out him. The Pokedex may be important, but first, enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. Woo. Woo. Hey, Carlos, isn't Professor Kukui cool? Yeah, that's the word I'd use. If you talk to him on the best receiver, he'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve. That could be handy, actually. I'm pretty sure certain Pokemon evolve through Link Stones, those have been put into the game, and other things like that. I did have a brief look. Apparently some of the evolutions aren't in the game as well. I had a brief look through the wiki because I was looking up that Cyndaquil. And you can call us too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. It's Gladian. Don't battle me. Oh, sorry, Onion. How could I get his name wrong? Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle. You look like a tough trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely gonna take you down. That's, that's one reaction. Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. Next thing is to make it so you can use the C gear. I kind of remember this. The C gear is a cool device for communication, such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, I'm not gonna need this. I'm not gonna need this at all. Turn on the C gear. I'm gonna click yes, because I'm pretty sure it's just easier if it's on. Oh, we also get a fun little thing on the screen. That's fine. Check this, the C gear is activated and that screen showed up. If you touch the question mark in the bottom right corner of the C gear, you can read about the C gear. Never gonna do that. Like, what are you gonna do now? You know, there's another Pokemon gym in Burbank City, which is just past Felesi Town. I guess that's where I'm heading then. But first, I'm healing. I'm absolutely healing. Oh, and we also have to speak to the Metal Man, of course. That has to be done. Do we need to? Nope. Nope. Am I going to? Absolutely. What would I do without my precious metals? What would I do? Nothing. I would do nothing. I would wonder where my medals are. That's it. I would be able to continue. Carlos, I've been waiting for you. You're doing terrific. Here's a new medal. Thank you. I, I love this. The Light Walker Medal. Wow. Battle liner medal. Is it just two? Give me nine hint medals. Damn, I don't remember if there's actually anything he gives you at 50. Like, if I get to 50, is he gonna give me, like, a Mega Stone? I don't even. Was Mega Stone in this game? I don't remember what was in this game and what wasn't. I feel like Mega Stone was something that was in this game, but I could be wrong. Either way, let's head to Felicity Town and see if we can maybe get ourselves an encounter on another route, because I would love, love to find an encounter that isn't weak 
to rock or ground. Just, just a nice water or grass type would be great. Bianca, hey! Oh, are you gonna bow me now? Oh no. I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokédex that I gave you. I'm gonna add a habitat list. It's an amazing feature. Can I use that to determine which Pokémon I get? Because that'd be amazing in the Nuzlocke. With the habitat list, you can check which Pokémon are in the area. It's a mode in the Pokédex. To use it, open up the Pokédex and tap the habitat list. Next, pick the area you want to see. It even tells you once you've already caught, which I'll tell my expansion again. No, it doesn't really matter, because it's gonna be the first one I find no matter what. When you're walking down a path, sometimes you'll see rustling grass. That could be handy. If you go to that spot, I'll let the rest be a surprise. That could be handy. Although they're often Ordino, and I don't think I'd want an Ordino. They'll probably change. What if it's like... What if I go there and there's like a Beldum? Ooh. Ooh. That'd be awful. That'd be the worst case scenario. I would never catch it. Also, I have to jump in the leaf pile. This has to happen. You just have to accept that I'm gonna do it every time, okay? It's not my fault. See, things like that... I kinda wanna see what it is. I'm kinda curious, actually. So I can get past you now, right? Hey, that gleaming thing there is the basic badge. You, but don't get a swelled head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. No, don't have a rock type. No, please. No, please, no rock types. No, 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 sir. Sir, please let me go. Please. No geodudes. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, 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 that, yeah, ice. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can get behind that, yeah. So, sure, sure, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just a normal sand shrew would be so much scarier than anything that he could show me with that. We miss, okay. Is this gonna be the stupid, stupid sand? Sand Veil ability, or Snow Veil ability, whatever it is. That was neutral, which means, is a lowland Sand Shrew already part Steel? It might be, actually, now that I think about it. It is, isn't it? I know Sand Slash is. God, I, I, I'm so used to Gen 3 and 4, it's actually wild. Riolu! I have Peck, I guess. I guess. I don't love going up against Riolu, because it's a Pokemon that learns the move known as Counter. That's terrifying. I might actually quick attack first. No, that's silly. That's silly. If it like, gets force palm or something, then I just get two shot. I have to peg. Don't counter. Faint. That's fine. Five damage? Absolutely fine. Okay, keep doing that. Keep doing that. I can even just go for quick attacks now. That's absolutely fine with me. Okay, we're just gonna go for a quick attack. We're gonna finish with that. There's gonna be no counter real. That's what I like to see. That's what I love to see. It makes me happy. That's right, that rhymed. Was it intentional? No. Geodude. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I guess I bite? Oh no. This is the scariest Pokemon I can see. I don't like seeing Geodude. I really don't. It's so much scarier than anything else. A lowland Geodude, though. Which means it's Rock Electric? Which is still bad. Yeah, it's still just as bad, actually. I'm still gonna bite, because I want flinches. Okay, that's not terrible. It goes for Rock Polish. That's not great for me, because I outsped initially, but okay. Buff it by hail. I'm gonna bite again. I still have speed! Punch! I still have speed. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Rock Throw can miss, is the reason I didn't go for Rock Throw. Or at least I'm pretty sure it can miss. And I don't want to take that chance. I really don't. I am gonna double check that. I am gonna absolutely double check that. That's right, you couldn't show me anything. I have the badge, blah, blah, blah. That's right, I can go on for it. Cool. Does Rock Throw have a, have a chance to miss in this game? I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it's like base 90 accuracy. It is base 90 accuracy. Okay, I had that right, that's good. Uh, but Stab, it does go to base 75 power, so it's stronger than Bite, but accuracy. Either way, for right now, I feel like this is a nice place to round up this episode. We are going to end off this episode standing right next to our good friend here who we just bullied into the ground. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have already. Bye!